Hi, Zeus here. The current global number one, JR, is a binational citizen of both Brazil and China who lives in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And I'm going to show you some of his best attack methods using bullet taunt and only three boosted offensive statues. Alright, in this first battle, along with Bullet Taunt, JR is using two boats of Scorchers, two boats of mechs, one boat of Bombardiers, and three boats of Laser Rangers. And he lands far left with just his bullet and one boat of Bombardiers, clears a number of defenses on the left, and then lands the bulk of his troops all far right. Now, the idea here is that the laser is going to lock in on Bullet. He throws a shock behind the HQ to shock the grappler and the shock launcher there so that his troops can get closer. And his mechs have now shocked the laser so it's out of commission and his laser rangers are attacking through the core to the defenses behind. He's consistently shocking the grappler and the doom cannon behind the core while his mech and laser rangers are attacking and clearing them. And now he's going to BART the last rocket launcher, and this base is beaten. Also, towards the end there, before the bullet died, he did trigger Taunt once to shock the defenses on the left side of the core. Now, there is one rocket launcher heavily damaged, which he just finally took out with an artillery. But that rocket launcher, even if it had survived for a long time, couldn't have done any damage to his troops because that mech was there to absorb any damage from it. Meanwhile, the Scorcher in the back cleared the shield gen and down goes the base. In this second attack, JR has loaded up three Scorchers in one mech, and the reason why he's doing that is he's going up against two grapplers and two shield gens because he needs his troops with more health to survive to the end. And he launches the bullet in and it's grabbed very quickly by the grapplers on purpose and he hits Taunt, which taunts all of the defenses near the first grappler, and when it's grabbed and sent to the back, all the defenses near the second grappler. So almost all of the defenses at this point are taunted, and he just hits repeatedly the taunt until the front grappler dies, and then he finishes off the back grappler with a barrage. Meanwhile, his main bulk of his troops are up against the core, their laser rangers are shooting through the core, his mechs are attacking other items like the boom cannon there, and the base is pretty well beat, although he doesn't have a lot of troops left, so he really needs to use his remaining troops to take out the shield gen, and the one that's least protected is the one on the far left. So he flares all of his troops over to the far left and takes that shield gen out. Now once that's done, he lets his laser rangers drift back to the core along with the mech. His scorcher is going up against that cannon. He doesn't have any gunboat energy left, so he, otherwise it would have been great to send the scorcher back to the core. But he did throw down a box of critters on the core to help take down the shield gen there. And he's got enough time left to have his few troops that he's got left reduce the shield gen and the core. A few moments later. And he wins. For this next attack, JR has two boats of mechs, two boats of scorchers, one boat of bombardiers, and three boats of laser rangers. And he lands his bullet and flares him up into the base and then uses smoke to protect him until he gets to the point where he flared to. And the idea here is that when he comes out under the smoke, he's gonna attract the attention of the Doom Cannon and all the other defenses in the front there while allowing his troops to sneak up and clear them all. And along the way, he threw down one box of critters to distract a Boom Cannon, a second box of critters to distract two cannons and a Boom Cannon on the right side. And now his mech had frozen the Doom Cannon, his Laser Rangers are shooting through the core at the second Doom Cannon, just behind the core. And the only thing he needs to worry about at this point is the Grappler, which is rapidly grabbing all of his troops. But he throws down a shock to freeze it, 
And meanwhile, his laser rangers shooting through the core pack enough offensive punch to take down the grappler. Now he repositions his laser rangers to the right side so that they're shooting through the core at some of the remaining defenses on the left and clearing those. And he's got enough troops and critters attacking the core now that he can clear the, the base and win without having to go after the shield gen on the far left. So he just sits and waits patiently and the base goes down. For this next attack, against Kryvorushka, who is a former global number one from Russia. This base that Kryvorushka has, has two grapplers and a doom cannon in front of the base. The two grapplers are in the rear. He uses two boats of mechs, two boats of scorchers, two boats of bombardiers, and two boats of lasers. And he divides his troops into two equal groups, one far right, one far left. And he sends his bullet up the middle with the intent of having it grabbed by the grapplers and then shocking all of the defenses in the rear. Meanwhile, he is throwing down a shock to suppress the Doom Cannon until his mechs can get in range of the Doom Cannon and shock it. Now his bullet has died and he only took out one of the grapplers in the rear. The other grappler is still going, so he's having to use shock to suppress that grappler. And now that he's run out of gunboat energy, the grappler is grabbing his mechs, but he's barraging it and manages finally to take it down with the two laser rangers that are shooting through the core. Now with the one shield gen, which is already heavily damaged, and the three bombardiers, he's got enough offensive punch to take down the shield gen and beat the core, so he's just gonna stay, and there's no defenses that can reach his remaining troops. And he beats the base. The next attack is against Bad Game, which is a account controlled by Chen, who's a leader of a rival Chinese faction to JR and his team. And this base has two grapplers and two shield gens. The two grapplers are right and left of the core, which is kind of an unusual arrangement. And the shield gens are in the far back left and far back right. He lands all of his troops, including the bullet in front, and allows the bullet to be grabbed and triggers taunt. And the taunt freezes the defenses all around the core. So almost all of the defenses on the right and the left side of the core are frozen by the taunt, which allows his troops to sneak up and clear them all, shooting through the core. And for the defenses on the left front where he needs some help, he throws down shocks to suppress those defenses while his troops are clearing the rest of the defenses in and around the core. Now there's still one grappler there and his bullet has gone down, but he's got his laser rangers positioned so that they'll shoot through the core to take that grappler out. And little by little they reduce the health down while the grappler is grabbing his troops one by one. And finally the grappler goes down. Now at the time of this attack, there's a special gunboat ability that allows him to do remote defib, so he respawns a few laser rangers that the grappler had killed in the back. But even if that wasn't around, he would have had the punch to take down the shield gens and the core. And if not, he could have gone to the right side, cleared the shield gen, and then through the back to the left, cleared the shield gen. I've done this myself. There's plenty of time. He had plenty of time to do it. It's just that with the remote defib, he just sat and uh, was patient because he had the offensive punch to do it without going through the trouble of going all along the back. And the base goes down. The final attack that I'm gonna show you by JR is against Upalto, who was global number one. This is a player from Taiwan, and he's got a rear right corner base with two grapplers and a doom cannon and one shield gen in the far back left. Now, JR lands two mechs to take out some of the defenses on the beach on the right side. And as soon as those defenses are down, he flares to the far left and then he lands all the rest of his troops, which are two scorchers one bombardier boat and three boats of laser rangers, the laser rangers being last. And then he starts his normal attack. He lands his bullet to the right of all the troops with the hope that the bullet will get grabbed. But unfortunately, a couple of the scorchers get grabbed first. 
But then the bullet kick's grabbed, and he starts to taunt the grapplers and all the troops around the grapplers. Meanwhile, his troops are sneaking up on the right and the left and the middle. The mech in the middle grabs and shocks the doom cannon and clears that. The mech on the right clears one of the grapplers. And he's throwing down critters to distract the defenses while his bullet is taunting the defenses. And he used remote defib to get back two scorchers there. But even if he hadn't had the remote defib, he still would have won. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video featuring JR's bullet taunt attacks. And if you did, please give this video a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. There's over 190 videos on a variety of Boom Beach topics there for you to explore. And thanks, as always, to Hercules for help with the video editing.